So I am currently starting the car because I said this works a lot better if your oil is warm or hot because you don't want it to be So I'm letting it even warm up a little bit. You can see I've got the uh, extractor sitting over there. I'm going to hook it up to the battery. And the dipstick tube was the word that I could not remember. But um, so I'm not going to keep it going while we're doing this. I'm going to get it, get the oil motivating. Hang on, turn you off for just a minute. All right, so back with you. I have got the battery cables hooked up and I tested it and the power is working, so that's really great. I have got my container with the tube and one side that pulls and one side that pushes. Go right back with you. Okay, so I think thought I had it on the whole time and I guess I didn't. So I got this turned around, got it pumping the right way, got oil going in there, oil coming out of the dipstick tube, and this little monster is hooked up to the battery and pumping so well. We have dogs watching the process because they don't like the noise. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Okay. 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 I stopped it for just a minute and got the oil here, trying to get trying to get that all run down in there. And I'm gonna turn it on again. It does, I've got some still in this tube. I think I'm pretty much done. But the dogs are like, uh oh. I know I'm still going. <laughs> Alright, so I have removed it. I'm going to put the stick back in there and see. 
I'm not going to climb under there like they say, you know, let's look and see how much is left so that you can compare whether you should get your butt under the car and take stuff out or not. But um, I'm going to put the dipstick back in there. I'm going to check it and then I'm going to very carefully put quarts of oil back in there. I'm not going to pour like four quarts, four and a half quarts in there and then overfill. So um, I'll be back. So next step, put some fresh oil in there. The dip stick shows no, shows nothing. So I'm going to be very careful about putting this in there because this is five quarts and my car does not hold five quarts. So I'll be back. So we've got enough oil in there. Looks pretty good. I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to let the oil circulate in the car and then test it again.